arsenal of democracy at work. One plant among thousands dotted across the vast United States. Plants that build tanks like these, huge lumbering juggernauts, in numbers that stagger the imagination. Six months ago, President Roosevelt called for 120,000 tanks, tanks of all sizes. And overnight, the automobile industry of America transformed its plants, reshaped its tools to become the greatest tank arsenal the world has ever known. An industry geared to produce the 32 million automobiles on which America rides, now engaged solely in the task of turning out tanks and more tanks. This is mass production, as only American engineers know how. Here are figures of yesterday's newspapers, realities today. Logistics at work in industry. From vast stockpiles like these, American tanks take shape. Each stockpile assembled in such a way that scores of sub-assemblies reach their proper place, each at the proper time. Steel, rubber, aluminum, tin, forgings, moldings, castings, 30,000 parts to build one engine of destruction. Shrouded ghosts, they roll out on trains of flat cars and are headed for the sea. Some to the Atlantic, some to the Pacific, bound for Africa, for Asia, bound for the battlefields of Europe. Reinforcements for the armies of the United Nations. At unnamed ports, unnamed ships take aboard their cargoes of death. This too is a part of the job, and America is seeing it through. Every week, every month, American tanks are finding their way to the fighting fronts. Wherever they're needed, there they will go. This is total war, and this is America's answer. <laughs> 